DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some duels, babe. Today we've got 36 PC mods in testing. We only have four console mods in testing. With all those 13 mods were released today. Farming Simulator Collector's Edition is now available at GameStop. FA978 talks about his John Deere Mini Excavator. Contra Camigo Mining's new Chevrolet or old Chevrolet is coming along nicely. Cola Mining's Mercedes Benz is almost done with modeling. JHHG Mining has released their Case H Axle Flow 250 series for PC players. AMG Agri's Bell Loader and their Massey Ferguson are with Giants for testing. 40 Mining shows off more progress on the high spec tanker. This our mining app, not one, not two, not three, but four new mods. MRG has released the beta for Lincoln Creek. Steve's Mods announces his next map. Plus, Lancy Boy updated American Life Farming today on consoles and what you need to know about that update. Let's check it out. It's ST4 PC we have at Cohouse. Annaburger HDS 2279 Multi Land Plus. Automatic Warehouse. Bendicow. Beaver. Big Bell Grab. Big Modern Metal Shed. Brit Out Pro Version. Shamburg Valley. Classic Fence Pack. Demolishable Dynamic House. Farmhouses Pack. Portrait 890 Clump Squagon Pack. Probably messed that up. Garage with my removable silo. Gaspardo FB R940. Goyas. Howard BW Grabber Pack. Irrigation System. Crone Big X Carpet. Something that starts with a K and ends in an E. Liar SP290. Large Spanish Horse Stable. Lizard FB R940. Lizard New R Series. Marble Fountain. Nordic Country. Pack Side Tipper Trans 100 TC. Pack Small Shelter. Placeable New Holland and Sammy. Rappuccino. Slurry Shuttle. Upper Bavaria. U.S. Trailer Attacher, Valley View, Weed Trimmer, and welcome to This Is Ireland Multi Fruit. In test four consoles, we have the Bandurante Pack, Brazilian Chicken Coop, Event Map, and the Man 33 414 41 403 Pack. With all that being said, we still have seven mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, 13 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod hub, including a non stop silage baler that uses corn chaff. It's awesome. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. For those of you in the United States, a new way to buy the Collector's Edition of Farming Simulator 22 popped up over the weekend, and you can now pre-order the Collector's Edition at GameStop in addition to Best Buy. It is going to be $80 USD on both of them, so keep that in mind. Remember that the Collector's Edition is only available for PC players. There is no version for consoles. If you want to check that out, I have a link to both of them in the description below. And if you don't want to buy the Collector's Edition, you just want to buy the standard PC version or digital version, I'll have pre-order links for those in the description as well. Make sure you use code DJGOHAM. That link goes to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Thank you to everyone who has used that code so far. This morning, we reached gold partner status with Giant Software, which is just incredible. Thank you guys. Making our way into today's top stories, we start with Pepe978 and their John Deere 50G Mini Excavator. A lot of you guys have been asking about that. He says that he's working on it and work is progressing very nicely, and it will be soon before he's sent off testing for all platforms. Here you can see the bucket detached in the 50G pulling a trailer, which is pretty cool. This is going to give this Mini Excavator a new function. It's going to make it more versatile around your farm. Contra Kamiga Modding have shown off progress on their old Chevy with the truck open and different customizations all around. This is also a big mod that's being made for all platforms. It will likely have the name changed because it's a Chevy right now, and I don't see Chevy being released as it's it. But you never know, we've got Ford mods. Cola Mining has some more work done on the Mercedes L1620 truck, aka the Lizard L1620 for those of you on consoles. We haven't seen anything on this mod in a few weeks, but Cola is back, and today they say that the 3D model is finished or very near completion. It's just missing the dashboard. The only thing left to make is the Atron, which is going to be made this week. JHHG Modding has released the full PC version of their Case IH Axle Flow 250 Series Combine Harvester, and that can be found now on their Facebook page or at the link below. This features realistic brands like Demco, Goodyear, Zussi Tracks, AFS, and more. There are a total of eight different 3D track options, four different Goodyear LS tire options, including the 1400s, 20 wheel configurations in all, different motors, grain tanks, pipes, and more. If you're looking for the top model to use on PC, this is the one. And if you're on console or just want to use the Mod Hub version, nothing to worry about there. That version is still very similar and has similar configurations, but just not 4K, so nothing to miss out on there. AMG Agri's Massey Ferguson MF5400 has filled its first round of testing, as was expected. 
Most do, so nothing new there. It failed with an issue on the dirt texture and texture sizes, and of course, German translations. They are working on fixing these today and are going to try and get this back submitted for testing by tonight. This is a mod for all platforms. In addition, their big bail grab that we talked about yesterday has been sent on for testing as well and is already going through its first stage of testing. It's going to have plenty of decals, including custom manufacturer plates under the Lizard UK brand, but they do say that this may have to be changed to just the standard Lizard brand. I'll let you guys know once we know more progress about this mod. Hey, could even be out soon. 40 Modding have made even more progress on their high-spec 2300 SAR tanker since we talked about it yesterday, with all the functional elements on the tanker being worked on. The rain sprayer and rear injector are now functional with manure system compatibility and the ability to be filled with the Boom Config tanker. They still have a few things to do, like skinning the hoses, adding dirt textures and more textures, but the mod is nearing completion. Raleigh Christie of the VSR Modding Sir has released teasers of a few mods that they're working on or have submitted for testing, the first of which is the VSTR Platform Autoload, which is going to hold up to 40 square bells or 54 round bells. This is going to hold rounded square bells, as mentioned, and tons of them. That's great to see. And secondly, we get to see two new trailers that he's working on, which are currently with Giants and in testing right now. The Packside Tipper Trans 100TC rolls off the tongue. I love it. There's going to be a 48,000 liter version and a 100,000 liter version, both with plenty of customization to keep you busy. MRG Mapping's Lincoln Creek Beta is finally here. It was released later yesterday, right after Farm Sim News was made public. You could download this right now via a new Discord that has been created by MRG just for the map. This is only available for PC and will not be coming to console. He's going to be working on the official release to be later this week, V1. So this is just the beta release right now. But he wanted to get it out to you guys as soon as possible so that you could enjoy the map and play on it some. I will have a link to the download down below. It's also a hotfix to the map and that link does include that hotfix. Of course, it can be all found down below. And you could even check out MRG's live stream from yesterday. He was playing on it. Very cool. A few days ago, Steve's Mods teased that he could have been working on something new for either FS19 or FS22. And today, we got that answer. Here are some screenshots from his new map for Farming Simulator 19. That's right, he's got one more for us at least. Here you can see some new John Deere sheds, as well as quite a few trees and a great shot of the sawmill. Steve does some really, really good work. He's one of my favorite map creators, and I cannot wait to see what he brings us next. And lastly today, Lancy Boy's American Life Farming received an update today on consoles with the update sorting out the roads on Xbox. However, in order for these updates to take full effect, you are going to need to start a new save game and remember to only use New Farmer on this map. This goes for anybody only use new farmer on this map if you don't the animals are not going to work and the sheds aren't going to open just to name the few things that just won't work in new farmer you can then sell your equipment sell the land and then you're going to have a little extra cash plus you're going to start just like you would have in farm manager or start from scratch if you're on pc you can find the multi-fruit version of the map linked on a few third-party sites including mod network king's mods and simply safe mods it's on a few other ones, I'm sure, but these are the only ones that Lancy Boy has uploaded them himself. And I created this outro myself. It's so self-aware, it's not even funny. Or is it funny? I don't even know. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the jump you new and join the goham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel what's up hope you have a great day we will see you later So as you guys know, I drink a lot of energy drinks. One every morning, and this is day two of coffee only. I'm dying.